I walked out of a hotel with about six or seven flight attendants and I started throwing some of my wisdom keys at them. When you want something you've never had, you got to do something you've never done. The place you create pleasure is where your money world begins. Decisions decide health. Decisions decide wealth. I've got a thirty or forty thousand statements that I like to I like to talk in little quips. I call them wisdom keys from the Lord. When you open your hand. God opens his windows. They said, what do you do? I said, I'm a learner. No, no, I mean, I mean, I mean, what do you do for a living? I said, that's what I do for a living. I learn for a living. I just read, 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 and write, and write, and write. Listen to this for a reason. Wisdom is the ability to recognize bad people. Proverbs 2, verse 5, 12, 16. The purpose of wisdom is to protect you from deceivers. That's the purpose of wisdom. Wisdom is the ability to see a difference in people, good and evil. Honor is the willingness to reward a person for their difference. The Ten Commandments are all about one word. Honor. The first four Ten Commandments are about honoring God. The last six, honoring people. Number five is the first command from God that has a reward to it. If you honor your mother and father, it will go well with you. In one sense, that's the greatest wisdom key on the earth. Your reaction to your parents determines God's financial favor on your life. Your reaction to your parents determines how God treats you money-wise. One of my jets, I built my father a beautiful bed and all that kind of thing. And I was standing up and he was talking and I made a statement. Uh, my dad said, son, he was drinking his root beer and laying down, just me and him and my two pilots flying to New York. And my dad said, uh, son, this is a long ways from the old red horse I started off in the ministry with. And I said, daddy, Another nice thing is I bought a cash, Daddy. I bought this jet, 520 miles an hour, built by the Israelis. I bought it cash. And nobody ever gave me a nickel to buy a jet. Nobody. No offering was ever taken. Nobody ever gave me a dollar to buy a jet, Daddy. It was just a, some miracle things from the Lord. And his ray of reaction was, huh? Huh? That was his uh, high level joy. That was his joy level. Huh. While I was standing there, the Holy Spirit speaks to me and said, what if I told you, what if I told you that I gave you this plane to fly your father around everywhere because you showed him honor? My dad prayed four to 10 hours a day he built seven churches, uh, very quiet. My mother was a master teacher, master conversations. But my father's very quiet. But he prayed constantly, constantly in his prayer language. Built seven churches, nine children, seven of us lived. Now, here's what I'm talking about. The blood of the father 
is the blood in our body. Your mother doesn't give you any blood at all. It all comes from the daddy. And I begin to think about what's the difference in men. The difference in men is who they admire. The difference in men are the questions they're willing to ask. The difference in men is who they're willing to ignore. The difference in men is the argument they refuse to enter. The difference in men is the price they'll pay for a book. The difference in men are the questions they're willing to ask. The difference in men is what they're willing to change in their life. If you want that book, take a pen and write this number down. I've got a company that answers all my book offers, all of my book offers, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. There's not one phone call that comes that don't answer. The number is 1817 area, 759 book, B O O K. I want to tell you about a book. It's free. It's free. 48 pages. The name of the book is Protected. And I tell about my COVID experience. I thought I was going to die. I wanted to die. But when you had COVID, you, you want to die. It'd be a joy. You'd, you'd pay money. You'd double your tithe to die when you have COVID. But I wrote a book called Protected. The book number is 809. 809. Eight one seven area seven fifty nine book B O O K and that book number the word book in numbers is twenty six sixty five twenty six sixty five the difference in men is what they're willing to change the difference in men is what they're willing to stop doing the difference in men is the price they'll pay for knowledge. I would never, never want to pay more money for a car than I would my brain. I listened to a billionaire at Oral Roberts University. I heard him five minutes and said, took out my American Express, told my assistant, go buy one of everything he has. He came back and says, it's going to cost you $1,500. I said, I know. He said, it's only a little 40-page book and two videos. It's going to cost you $1,500. I said, I know. Go buy one of everything he's got. I want to know everything he knows. I want to hear every word he's ever said. I want to hear this man talk. He said, do you think it's worth it? That's what my assistant said. Do you think it's worth $1,500? I said, I'm worth $1,500. I can buy a book for $20 of the greatest thoughts, Bill Gates and Warren Buffett and Elon Musk. And that's what Elon said. Elon Musk said, who's, by the way, he's worth $339 billion, richest man in the world right now. You know what they ask him? How in the world did you get involved? All this money and space. And very quietly, because he's had a nervous breakdown, you know, Elon said, I just read a book. I read a book. 